Hello, Mario here from fortoots.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the file window in iMatch. Um, this is the window where you do most of your work, where you can view your files, uh, you can see metadata, uh, categories, collections, the file name and the thumbnail of course. For this tutorial I've added a couple of folders to my test database. These folders are visible in the media and folders view on the left. Currently we are viewing the files in the folder named market. This folder has uh, seven files and when we look at the file window uh, caption bar we see that this folder has seven files and one file is currently selected. If I select additional files you can see that the file window automatically updates the caption to indicate how many files are currently selected. When you left click a file in a file window it becomes selected and also the focused file. The focused file is indicated by a yellow border with the default color settings. Left clicking another file changes the active and focused file to whatever you left click. The other panels update accordingly to reflect the currently focused file. To select multiple files, press and hold the shift key and click the first file you want to select and the last file you want to select. iMatch selects all files in between. First file, shift click, last file. You can select individual files by holding down the control key on your keyboard. This allows you to select arbitrary sets of files. When you control click a file that has, is already selected, it becomes unselected. To select all files, press Ctrl plus A. To invert a selection, press Ctrl plus I. For an overview of all possible uh, keyboard combinations and selection modes, please see the file window help topic. On the left side of the file window toolbar, you'll find the sort profile dropdown. Sort profiles control how files in the file window are sorted. There are a number of predefined sort profiles, but you can create your own sort profiles using the provided editor. The toolbar button on the right of the dropdown allows you to invert the sort order, which means that uh, the files are sorted in reverse. iMatch by default displays the files in the selected folders. Currently we have one folder selected and this folder has zero files, so the file window is empty. All the files uh, are in subfolders of the selected folder, so if we select this folder for instance, we see the files in this folder, when we hold down the control key, we can select multiple folders. So we see all the files in these two selected folders. As you can see, the file window groups each folder into a group with a group header and the group contents, in this case, displayed at, as thumbnails. When we click the wedding folder again, we see nothing because the wedding folder itself has no files. To change this and to include the files in uh, the subfolders of the wedding folder, we enable the hierarchy mode for the file window using this button. This button changes the display to include the, in this case, first subfolder level under the folder we have currently selected, which means we see the contents of these three folders in the file window. Again, the file window has combined each folder into a group and you see in the separate uh, group headers the name of the folder and the contents of the folder. What we don't see currently is when we now click on this folder for instance, we see that this folder has a subfolder itself with grayscale images. We have currently only enabled the file window to display one immediate folder level. If we switch to show all levels, we see not only the wedding folder and the first level of subfolders, but also the subfolders below these folders, the subfolders below these folders, and so on. 
The reason for all this is that many IMAG users have uh, very deep folder hierarchies with tens of thousands of files and clicking uh, a top level folder and displaying 50,000 files in the file window uh, usually does not make a lot of sense unless you really want to. For that, you can use the hierarchy mode to display either the files in a selected folder or all subfolders uh, recursively. With this option, you can disable the grouping by folder in the file window. IMAGE now displays all files in a continuous list. Grouping by folder, all files in one list. The hierarchy mode is used in all uh, IMAGE views. So you can also control how many child categories, child collections or timeline nodes you see in the file window. File window layouts enable you to control how files are displayed in the file window and the data displayed for each file. You select a file window layout using the file window layout drop-down control in the file window toolbar. In this case, we're using a thumb small layout, which displays only a thumbnail and the file name for each file. Using this zoom slider, you can control the display size of the files uh, and the file window panels in the file window. By switching to different layouts, you can display different amounts of information for each file. For example, the default layout displays the file name, the icons, the rating and label bar, which allows you to uh, edit and see the rating and label assigned to each file, and the category colors, which indicate the categories assigned to the file. The image info layout displays a lot of technical data for each file, including the file name, date and time of the image creation, the shutter speed and aperture, the lens used, and also the rating and label bar. The title description in keywords does exactly that. It displays the title, description, and the keywords for each file. Again, you can use the zoom slider to change the size of the thumbnail panels in the file window. You have also the possibility to use tabular layouts, which arrange the uh, file window contents in tabular order. For example, um, this one, which displays the file name, the date, title, description, and the keywords, um, and allows me to see a lot of information in a very small space. There are also layouts uh, specifically for MP3 files, PDF files, um, and you can create your own file window layouts with a ton of options, all explained in the file window help and probably uh, the topic of a separate tutorial video. To find specific files in the file window, you use the file window search bar in the file window toolbar. Just type in the search term and the file window will reduce the display to files matching the given search term or Martin, for example. To clear the search, click on the X button. The X button has a drop-down menu which enables you to configure search bar options. For example, where to search, if you also want to search in attributes, if you want to search using regular expressions. As always, all these options are explained in the file window help, so just press the F1 key uh, to find the corresponding information in the IMAGE help system. A very important concept for the file window is the so-called scope. The scope just means all files currently loaded in the file window. In this case, we have 12 files loaded in the file window, so the scope has 12 files. When I switch to the wedding folder, we have 34 files loaded in the file window. And the search bar always searches the scope, which means in this case it will search these 34 files. If you bring a big folder into the file window, say the people folder, which has about 150 files, the file window search bar will search within these 150 files. To search all files on an entire disk, you just select the corresponding disk node in the median folders view. And to search all files in your database, 
we select the database node in the media and folders view. If I now type in a search string, the entire database will be searched and the results will be presented in the file window. Since I currently have enabled the hierarchy mode, all folders, even without results, will be displayed. If I find this irritating, I just disable the hierarchy mode. To clear the search, press the X. To see all available commands and functions uh, in the file window, select one or more files and then right-click the mouse. This opens the context menu with all available commands for the current situation and selection. Each command is presented with the associated keyboard shortcut and when you remember uh, the keyboard shortcuts assigned to the most frequently used operations, you can work very efficiently in the file window.